Hey guys, it is uh, February 3rd, 2018. Um, it is cold as balls out. It's, um, I believe, negative 7, but it's down to like negative 17 with the wind chill. So I'm just sitting in the car debating even uh, stepping outside to attempt any digging. So um, I'm at the, uh, the park today where I usually hunt in the woods. I'm going to try along a little bit of a different area. Um, back in the day, there was... Um, a rail line that came straight through here um, to go down to the bridge and uh, for international transportation stuff like that um, I believe it was the Grand Trunk it might have been like the Great Western Railway or something like that I'm not a hundred percent sure so hopefully we can find some buttons or uh, some coins or whatever today so um, I'll keep you posted Well, I gave it a go. I stepped out of the car for about 10 minutes and absolutely froze my ass. So <laughs> I'm going to uh, try the woods where I usually hunt and find the uh, bullets and such. Hopefully we'll be a little bit out of the breeze. Um, if that falls through, I guess uh, maybe we can take a walk through the uh, animal farm and at least make something out of the video today. <laughs> so uh, uh, I don't know. I'll let you know if I find anything. So something I've picked up on uh, while hunting these woods since we are in a city park is you know this little area has been hit when you find stuff dangling in the trees. Maybe that guy's pouch was full or something like that. Just get it off the ground so you don't have to hunt it again. So uh, I'll pick that off the tree and throw that out. I don't know why but I found this so funny. Looks like a squirrel was here forever digging and digging and digging. And that nut is frozen into the ground. <laughs> Sucka. A little bit of an interesting find here. I think it's the back of a pair of glasses. It's got some like clear plastic. And it looks like a brass uh, rod. But I actually found it quite deep. It was about, uh, I don't know, maybe seven inches down. So, I mean, I wouldn't know how to date that or whatever. But kind of cool. Well, there you go. Somebody lost their uh, glasses. I rechecked the hole there. That's something you should always do. And uh, yeah, there's a cool set of frames. You know, maybe I can get some new lenses made for these babies. Well, this is probably the best find of the day. Um, it was probably only about four inches down. A uh, cool old spoon, and it says, uh, it's kind of hard to see, Chateau silver plate so i'll have to look that up when i get home that could be old the design looks kind of neat on it a little bit art deco or whatever so uh, better than finding nothing i guess right so i'm in the little corner area where uh i was digging all those bullets and everything just uh giving it a quick sweep before i uh, get out of the woods here i'm getting pretty numb um i had an 80 under uh, this little branch thingy. Um, that's usually what they ring up around. Uh, turns out it was this little piece of metal thing. Must have been sitting kind of funny. If I had to guess, I'd say it's maybe like a hood or something off one of those old school like Buddy L type uh, toys. But um, the real cool thing that came out here, and I don't know if any of you guys are like bottle collectors or whatever, but this was just... Uh, down in that same hole with this root had grown right through it so I mean I'm not a bottle guy I mean for all I know that could be off a corona bottle or whatever but um, if you guys can uh, let me know in the comments I'll either keep it or I'll get rid of it so uh, alrighty on to the next thing well thanks for hanging out with me today guys um didn't really find a ton uh, it was just nice to get out and uh, get rid of the winter blues and the cabin fever um, so yeah just uh, thanks for hanging out with me I guess uh, we'll go down the way here and uh, hit up the animal farm and uh, we can extend the video a little bit and uh, hopefully you enjoy the animals some random chicken facts but I don't really know how valid that is when there's uh, only big ass geese all in here they're loud now that I've walked over here. <laughs> so 
Oh, there's even some guys buried under the straw over in that next pen there. Crazy. I don't know if that's like an albino peacock or what. Odd looking bird. Oh, this guy's pretty cool. I'm not sure, but I, you used to be able to adopt uh, the rabbits and the guinea pigs and stuff from here. But I'm sure it's done through the uh, Humane Society or something now. I don't know. Bunch of rabbits and whatever moving all under here. It's hilarious. Hey guys. Hey there, buddy. How you doing? How you doing? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh you guys stink, huh? <laughs> How you doing, bud? Get all your buddies here. Huh? Oh, Ooh, there's a black sheep of the family. You guys stank, huh? You guys need to wash. Or a haircut after the winter, I guess. Hey there. Hey guys. <laughs> Buddy's still standing up on that thing. A little baby. They used to let these guys roam free outside, inside the fenced area, and they'd come up and you could pet them and whatever, but I don't know if that's, they got them all inside for the winter or, or what, but I've been coming here for years my grandparents used to bring me here uh, when I was just a little gaffer but it's kind of neat that it's still uh, operational I know there's not a ton for kids to do in this city unfortunately so it gives them something fun I know uh, we brought my daughter down here a couple times even though she's still less than a year old but it's just something to do and it's a good thing to support so uh, thanks for checking out the video and, and the uh, the animals here so I guess uh, I'll catch you on the next one, guys. Thanks for watching.